click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends welcome back to the subject of machine design one we are right now looking at different types of couplings in the last session we have seen what are the couplings actually and what are their failure modes in today's session we are going to look at the first coupling and let us look at the formula of it So students, as we said, muff coupling is the first coupling we are going to look at. It's a sleeve kind of coupling. So the type it comes under is sleeve. So friends, we know that sleeve is the outer cover under which we can insert two different materials, prominently shaft. So that is what the sleeve is all about. So the muff coupling will be like a cover through which the shafts will be inserted through. For example, Let's take the example of this particular pane. If this is the pane which is going to be a shaft, this particular cap is going to be the muff coupling so that the shaft can be inserted inside it. So that is what the differentiation is. Now we already have seen that the coupling may fail under two criteria. The first one is shear and second one is the compression. So as far as the shear is concerned, the formula is very straightforward and that is based on the Torsional equations. We already have learned those torsional equations in the subject of strength of materials, where the equations when switched back, they become this particular formula. So let me remind you the equations are where mt is nothing but the torsional moment, j is nothing but the polar moment of inertia, tau is the shear strength and r is the distance of or in our case it is going to be shaft and that's why it is the distance of extreme fiber from the center or the neutral axis so let us mark this formula as the important formula where this particular part is converted which was in terms of this particular where the diameter divided by 2 represents r and where b into l nothing but the given polar moment of inertia which is converted the second criteria that we know is the compression or crushing. Now, this formula are based on bending equations. Now, we have seen the bending equations again in the subject of strength of materials, which are again in case of shaft, the bending moment in this case is equal to the torsional moment. I is nothing but the again moment of inertia of the cross section about the neutral axis. So, sigma is nothing but the compressive stress and R is nothing but the distance of the extreme fiber from the neutral axis. Again using this particular expression when it was derived we have obtained this formula. So, this is the second important formula where this is the allowable value of strength, this is the torsional moment, this is the area concerned parameters. The last formula that we are interested in is the power transmission and that is very famous formula where mt will be obtained in terms of Newton millimeter. The power we are substituted in terms of kilowatt and the rest of the formula in terms of RPM. So with this formula we can go ahead with the design of muff coupling. Let me remind you that muff coupling design or any other coupling design is situated into three different parts. The first part is nothing but the design of shaft. Second one is the design of actual coupling and next one is the design of keys. So in the next video we are going to look at different conditions that are applied on the muff coupling and its design procedure through a numeric. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.